So in the previous video, we showed how we could show that two lines intersect. And in this video, we're going to show how we show that two lines are skew lines, or rather, they don't intersect and are not parallel to one another. Okay, so uh, here are two lines, L1 and L2. And it works in very much the same way as the previous problem. So we are going to use simultaneous equations, and we put one equal to the other. So we have 3, 2, 1 plus lambda, 3, 1, 1 is equal to 4 minus 7, 2 plus mu lots of 4 minus 2, 3. And from that, we get three sets of simultaneous equations. 3 plus 3 lambda is equal to uh, 4 plus 4 mu. And we also get 2 plus lambda is equal to minus 7 minus 2 mu. And 1 plus lambda is equal to 2 plus 3 mu. So at this point, decide um, which two equations you're going to work with. So I'm going to work with these two equations because I see a lambda and a lambda, which will easily eliminate the lambdas. So I'm going to call that equation 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to have equation all 3, take away equation 2 to make sure my mu's remain positive. So I have uh, 1 take away 2 is minus 1, lambda take away lambda is 0, 2 take away minus 7 is 9, and 3 take away minus 2 is uh, 5, lam uh, 5 mu. Rather. Okay? So take 9 from both sides, I get minus 10 is 5 mu, so mu is minus 2. Now if you substitute that into one of the two uh, equations that we are working with. So let's say I substitute it into equation 3. Okay, so we get 1 plus lambda. So 1 plus lambda is equal to 2 plus 3 lots of mu. So 3 lots of minus 2, so that's minus 6. So I have 2 take away 6 is minus 4. Take 1 from both sides is minus 5. So lambda is minus 5. So at this stage, you'll be noticing that, yes, we get a value of lambda and mu. And you really, sh you probably should get lambda and mu. But the problem is that now you must substitute it into the equation you didn't use. So we substitute into equation 1. Sub into 1. So we have 3 plus 3 lots of lambda. So 3 plus 3 lots of minus 5 is equal to 4 plus 4 lots of mu, so that's 4 lots of minus 2. So on the left hand side we have 3 take away 15, okay, which is minus 12, and on the right hand side we have 4 take away 8, which is minus 4. So what we've got down to is minus 12 is minus 4, which we know is not right. So this means that L1 and L2 must be skew lines, they do not intersect. And we can tell that they are not parallel, okay, because the direction vectors are not multiples of one another. Okay? Uh, that part will be explained in the next video. Okay? So watch the next video if you're not quite sure as to what I mean by that.